crazy child stars or whatever you want to say is extremely harmful. Maddie Goslin was always seen as Kate's puppet, but now it looks like she might finally be coming aware of her mom's manipulative ways. But is Maddie actually turning against her, and what would that even mean for their relationship? Maddie has always been known as the one kid who is completely on her mom's side. From what we know, she hasn't spoken to her dad in years, and a while ago, she also called out her brother Colin for his shady behavior. Colin has been speaking out against Kate for a while now, so it really just seems like Maddie is team Kate all the way. But is that actually the case, or has something changed recently? recently. Last year, Maddie did a bunch of TikTok lives with her sister Hannah. Hannah is another one of Maddie's siblings who's been on her dad's side, so it's shocking that she and Maddie got together publicly like that. I mean, I can't imagine Kate was happy about that. She always seems super controlling, especially when it comes to Maddie. This was super obvious in an old interview that Kate, Maddie, and Cara did together. The interview happened back in 2014, but it went viral again about two years ago, and for a good reason. Kate's behavior in the resurfaced clip was shocking and it was honestly also kind of scary. Kate, Maddie, and Kara were on the Today Show and they were asked a bunch of different questions by the host Savannah Guthrie. At one point, Savannah actually addressed Maddie directly and this was when something really crazy happened. Savannah asked, Maddie, what would you want to say about how your sister and your family are doing? Obviously, that was a pretty big and loaded question. Maddie probably knew that she was under a lot of pressure to answer that correctly without upsetting Kate. So she stumbled at first, she seemed really nervous what she probably needed at that moment was support, and you'd think since she had her mom and sister with her, that would have been easy for them to do. Kate could have just encouraged Maddie kindly. I'm sure even just a friendly smile would have gone a long way, but that's not what Kate did at all. Instead, she seemingly got angry pretty much immediately. She snapped at Maddie and said, Maddie, use your words. It's your chance. Spit it out. What's more, she also snapped her fingers at her. It came across as super aggressive, and the atmosphere turned uncomfortable pretty quickly after that. Maddie shot her mom a very interesting look. It seemed like she was upset at Kate, which would be completely understandable, but she didn't actually say anything back to her. Maybe she was scared or maybe she didn't want to cause a scene. Either way, the interview turned really awkward because of this, and it's no wonder that when the video resurfaced, many started calling Kate out for her controlling behavior. It really seemed like she just wanted Maddie to be her puppet, and it feels like this has been a thing for a very long time now, but maybe it's all finally over. Just a few years ago, Maddie did something really shocking on her social media. She posted a TikTok, and in it, she dropped a potential hint about how she really felt about her mom. The short video showed Maddie with her eyes closed. Olivia Rodrigo's song Enough For You was playing in the background. The lyrics that could be heard in the video were, and maybe I'm just not as interesting as the girls you had before. But Maddie wrote her own message over the video. She said, how I sleep knowing that I can't relate to the lyrics because I had an extremely unconventional childhood and I had ADHD. In the caption under the video, Maddie admitted that maybe she was a little too interesting. And a lot of people found this kind of shocking because it almost seemed like Maddie was calling out her parents, which would include Kate. I mean, she said that her childhood was extremely unconventional. That doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing, but it's also not a super positive statement. And since she also wrote that, it was maybe a little too interesting. Well, I can't help but wonder if she was throwing shade with that part of her post. Was she trying to say that she maybe would have preferred a more normal childhood? Was that a dig at her parents? Between this post and her and Hannah's later TikTok lives, I feel like maybe Maddie is starting to see through Kate's toxic and manipulative manipulative behavior. But if she is, and if she is turning against her, then what does that mean for her going forward? I don't think Kate's going to let her just get away with all this. Just look at how she blew up at her when she was only 14 and they were on TV. If she was willing to act like that in public, imagine what she must be like in private. There's probably a reason why Hannah said that she always wanted to live with her dad and why she eventually decided to do just that. Kate's behavior can be really toxic sometimes, and I feel like that would especially be the case if she wasn't happy with her kid's behavior. Hopefully, if Maddie does decide to stand up to Kate, she'll be able to deal with Kate's potential mean response. I'm sure that Hannah would be there for her if things started falling apart for Maddie. Although, after what she said about Colin last year, who knows actually? In the summer of 2023, Maddie took to her Instagram and she made a pretty crazy statement. She said that she never wanted to have to speak about this, but she felt like she had to set the record straight. Then she wrote, I do not owe my allegiance to any person who has physically threatened me and every member of my immediate family. It seemed clear from her post that she was referring to Colin, which was pretty shocking, especially since she added that some of those alleged threatening incidents happened
happened as recently as the year before she made the post. But Maddie said something else shocking in her statement. She said, I will never allow someone who has exhibited hateful and even violent behavior toward others based on their racial identity, gender identity, or religious beliefs to be in my life. This obviously caused quite a stir online. Maddie later said that she had empathy for Colin and his situation, but she made it clear that she suffered at his hands too. So it's clear that their relationship is pretty difficult. It's also most likely pretty much non-existent. Someone on Reddit pointed out that Maddie and Colin probably haven't talked to each other since he was about 12 years old. That's actually one of the reasons why not everyone was convinced by Maddie's post, because if she hadn't talked to him in so long, then how can she hold all those things against him? Maybe he just made mistakes when he was a young kid and he's changed since then. Although she did mention that some of the aggressive incidents were pretty recent. And it is also possible that while she might have not communicated with him personally, word of his behavior got to her and she just knew that she didn't want to have someone like this in her life. Honestly, I feel like there's just a lot we don't know about the situation, but what we do know is that the follow of this led to Maddie deleting all of her Instagram posts. Apparently, she got a lot of hate for what she said and some people also accused her of being brainwashed by Kate, but honestly, I'm not even convinced that she is fully on Kate's side. She's definitely done things over the last few years that Kate wouldn't have necessarily approved of, so maybe Maddie sees fault with both her parents and she's no longer Team Kate all the way, but honestly, it's hard to say whether that's the case or not. There's just so much we don't know about the situation, so all we can really do is speculate. But anyway, what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Maddie might be turning against Kate? And what do you make of her statement about Colin? Let me know in the comments below.